Hillary Clinton claiming last night we didn't lose a single American in that action in Libya. But my next guest says, what about the aftermath? Forgetting the four Americans we lost in the 2012 Benghazi terror attacks. With me now to discuss the survivor of the Benghazi attack. He's former Marine Mark Geis. He's with us now. Uh, what do you make of Hillary's comments there, Mark? You know, it's, it's just typical uh, Clinton uh, splitting hairs. Um, she wants to try to focus on... And she wants to focus on all of her, um, I guess, would you, what she would like to call her successes and not have anyone look at anything that she's ever done wrong. And, you know, the sign of a good leader is someone who is able to recognize not only what they've done good, but what they've done, you know, mistakes that have been made while they were in charge and accepting that and moving forward. And that's how you get better at it is you've got to look at what you've done wrong to be able to fix it. And if you don't ever want to look at what you did wrong, then – you're going to get the same old, same old. And Mark, she's pretty much that. Mark, if you were to advise Hillary Clinton, what would you tell her to say? What would, what did you want to hear her say? I would like to see her tell the families of the four Americans that sacrificed their lives that night um, that she apologizes for lying to them. I'd like to hear her apologize to them for lying to them and tell them the truth of what happened and why it all happened. All right, lie, just to, to make it clear to the viewer, lying to them about what? Um, about what happened to their, um, you know, the reason that the uh, events happened that night on September 11, 2012. You know, she immediately after at the ho coming home ceremony of the four dead Americans, the, what she looked them in the eye and said was that it was because of a video. And the video didn't play, had nothing to do with what happened in Benghazi. That all happened to do with a bunch of terrorists that wanted to kill Americans, and they don't, you know, it's it's radical or it's radical Islamist extremism that is causing the problem, and we don't even want to recognize it. And she didn't want to then. All right, Mark. We also had another Benghazi survivor, uh, John Teagan, who said on the show last week that there's an unreleased video of the attack. Watch this. Listen to this. If they really want to squash all the conspiracy theories, release the. Uh the consulate video that they have, because they have it. We've seen it. What did it show that the public does not know? <laughs> there wasn't no uh, protest. Now, uh, Mark, do you know anything about a consulate video? Yeah, you know, the consulate, for part of their security is to have um, video cameras on the outside walls up and down the roads. And that there's a tape out there somewhere that would have that, that, that recorded footage. Um, so I think... John's right on point is, you know, show that footage and see what, let, let it speak for itself. But there's a reason they don't want to show it, I'm, I'm sure. What do you think the reason is? Because it goes against the narrative that they've been trying to sell the public. Which is? That it was because of some video about Muhammad and not um, a terrorist attack. Not right, a, insulting a, Muhammad. Yeah. Right, right. Now, now, Mark, as a survivor of the attacks, uh, what is your reaction? What do you feel when you see Mrs. Clinton making these statements and you know, just it's, some critics have said she seems unaffected by her words. Um, you know, I, just looking at for her whole career, she has had a problem with telling the truth. Um, and I think it's just the same thing over and over. And I think if people would look at her full career, because it's one thing to make a mistake, because we all have done that. We've all maybe misspoke or made a mistake, and then we ask, you know, you you go to the people that you said, and you ask for forgiveness, and you, okay, hey, this is what I did. I did wrong. But you go all the way back to when she worked for a Democratic uh, congressman for, um, on the Watergate, and she got fired for unethical behavior and for lying and for taking papers home, all the way up to currently with taking emails home on her own server. I mean, there's a lot of correlation between her whole career of I'm better than everybody else. The rules don't apply to me. All right, Mark Geis, Benghazi survivor, thank you for your time, sir. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay.